This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm C.S. Scatterly. The Value Added Tax Department has announced that the VAT free shopping scheme will begin August 15th. As a result, the VAT and Customs Department are partnering with Global Blue, an international operator of tax refund systems, to introduce the automated rebate tracking system for the Bahamas. Merchants will continue to sell a wide range of products to tourists, net of VAT, and record this information in standard format that can be monitored electronically by the Customs Department. With the introduction of the standardized electronic platform, the VAT department is now opening up participation in the tax-free or VAT-off scheme to all qualifying businesses that sell qualifying goods. In the interim period since January, only stores that made at least half of their sales to tourists were authorized to participate. The draft rules to govern the modified scheme can be located on the VAT department's website. In other business news, the 2015 Andros Business Outlook is set for July 23rd at the Daniel Dream Center in Nichols Town under the theme Securing Our Andros Through Planning, Partnership, Productivity. Minister of Finance, the Right Honorable Perry Christie, is expected to deliver the keynote address. The fourth Andros Business Outlook team promised a dynamic range of subjects keyed specifically to the unique character and needs of Andros. TCL Group President and Founder of the Outlook Series, Joan Albrey, indicated that those who attend the Andrus Business Outlook will be particularly pleased with the lineup of speakers this year, and in particular the plans the Prime Minister is expected to announce for the island. And in international news, U.S. consumer prices rose for a fifth straight month in June, pushed higher by a rise in the cost of fuel and food. Prices rose 0.3% last month after increasing by 0.4% in May. Continuing price rises are likely to strengthen the case for an increase in U.S. interest rates. However, the year-on-year -year rate is still only 0.1%, although excluding food and fuel, so-called core inflation was 1.8%. This has been your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm C.S. Scatterly.